Hey friends, I uh, got an email this week from a guy called Blake, and Blake has asked, I've recently shot an interview, however have quite a bit of static noise present. I was wondering whether you would consider doing a video about sound and to include how to reduce or remove static and what additional plugins or programs you use. Yes, Blake. I would consider doing a video, this is it. So that's what we're doing today. We're looking at how to remove background noise and static noise from your footage in Final Cut Pro. Let's do it. So yeah, thanks for your email, Blake. Uh, it's really great to know that actually people are watching my videos and finding them helpful. And the weird thing was, uh, two days after you sent that email, I recorded a video. I used a wireless lav mic to do it, and I obviously didn't quite set the channel up correctly, and I had some really bad interference on the footage. So, such serendipity, you might say. So, I had to actually deal with this myself. What I would say, as a precursor before I get stuck in, is whenever possible, recording audio it's really important that you get it right in camera or in the recorder first time round because correcting audio is incredibly difficult in post-production uh, however it's not a perfect world we all make mistakes and if you do happen to be working with some footage that's not ideal then uh, this is just a really quick thing uh, that I've found you can do. Uh, so let's jump into my screen and get on with this. We are in Final Cut now. This is my project file for last week's video uh, where I was talking about how I made my intro. Uh, and what I've done is I have just put this uh, very short clip onto the timeline. Uh, and this clip at the moment has got no effects or anything on it. It's straight out of camera with a slightly boosted volume. I'm just gonna turn this up. Hopefully you'll be able to hear this. So hopefully you can see now how this is coming together. And then finally what I did is I used the glitch effects. So you can hear that white noise uh, quite badly, particularly at the beginning before I start talking. I'll just play it again. So hopefully you can see now how this is coming together. So yeah, you can imagine how gutted I was when I got that into Final Cut and realized what I'd done. However, all is not lost. So what I'm gonna do um, is I'm just gonna take you through the process which I pretty much do for all of my audio for my uh, videos that I do in this style where I'm talking to camera. So uh, the first thing that we do is I tend to add a compressor so if you come into your effects tab here mine's already open and you go into your audio effects under levels there is a compressor here uh, and you can drag that onto your footage and that's going to bring the compressor up here now you can open this compressor and it'll bring up this new window and you can play around with this you can play with the attack and the release and everything like that to your heart's content and sometimes you need to uh, honestly 90% of the videos I do, one of the presets is enough for me if I'm taking care when I'm recording the audio in the first place. So the one I found works quite nicely. I'll just um, close this. The one I found works quite nicely for my voice and in this room is just the preset voice vocal compressor one. And um, if you don't know what a compressor is, what it's basically doing is it's raising the volume of the loudest parts sorry, raising the volume of the quietest parts of the audio and lowering the volume of the louder parts of the audio. So it's trying to level the wave a little bit so that it's less up and down. So that's really helpful. What that also does um, is it tends to... So hopefully you can see now how this greatly it tends to greatly increase the overall volume of the track. So what we can do, now we've done that. Yeah. And then finally what I did is I... Is I can just reduce my volume to about zero. So hopefully you can see now how this is coming together. And then finally what I did is I used the glitch effects. Now these glitch effects, they're really simple to use. They're really just sort of drag and drop really. Let me just... Okay. And already you might be able to hear, let me turn this up and just see how that's affected that, that hiss. Still there and really prominent. So the next thing uh, that I always do is I always put a limiter on. Uh, so you can drag that onto the track 
like so. And that's it, I just drop that on. And what that does is it means if any of the bits are clipping, it just means that it will stop anything from going over zero, so it just stops any clipping. I know this is nothing to do with removing the static, but I will get onto that. I just felt maybe this would be useful as well. Um, so once I've added the limiter onto the audio, now we need to get into this hiss. Now, there is the option to let Final Cut analyze this, okay, uh, automatically. I've had really mixed results with this. Nine times out of 10, I find that the suggestions it's making just aren't making the audio sound nice. So I tend to steer clear of it. Um, but what I will sometimes do is I'll see if the hum removal will actually make any difference. So I can turn that on there and let's just play the clip again. So hopefully you can see now how this is coming together. So it's still quite prominent and I could try the 50 hertz instead just to see if that makes a difference. So hopefully you can see now how this is coming together. So no, I'm not really happy with how that's working, so we're gonna turn the hum removal off. We can also try noise removal, which is uh, more of a noise gate, and what that does is it sets a particular uh, level, anything below that level is not allowed through, anything over. Now it can mess with speech a little bit, but it's worth trying. So we're gonna turn that on. It sets 50% as default. So hopefully you can see you can see it's done a really good job of isolating that white noise, but now... So hopefully you can see now how this is coming together. My and voice finally... my voice sounds a little bit weird now, in my opinion. Now what I can do is I can play with the percentage and reduce the, the threshold of when that noise reduction kicks in to see if that makes any difference. So I'll bring that down a little bit. So hopefully you can see now how this is coming together. And then finally what I did is I used the glitch effect. And that is a little bit better. I'm still not mad about how that's making my voice sound. And the other thing is, because I've reduced the threshold, it is letting that white noise back through. So again, it's worth trying that as an option, but in this instance, I'm not gonna use it. So that leaves me to my final option, which is just to use the equalization. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna tick the equalization box. We're gonna click on this icon here, which is gonna open the equalizer. And then I'm just gonna, it's difficult, because obviously I can't uh, talk. Let's just uh, go, hold on, let me just set this to flat. Come on, base, flat. Okay, so we've now got a completely flat EQ, which is the default, right? And um, what we can do is, as we're playing the clip, so hopefully you can see now. I'm just going to turn this down a bit so I can still talk to you. If I go through each band, really simple to use. They're really just sort of drag and drop, really. Let me just get rid of a few of these bits so we can. And see how it's affecting the audio. They're the sort of thing that you need to sort of use sparingly, but... Um, Let's turn this up a bit. You can just really sort of drag them on if you want. Go mad. See, that's just completely glitched the entire thing out. What I tend to do with them is just really shorten them down and just have like that little short bird. So I'm going through every band here showing you what I do, but in this situation, I can tell you that hiss is one of the higher frequencies. So I'm just gonna dive in now just to save time. And if we play this clip again. And again, I am lit. If I boost this. So hopefully you can see now how this is coming together. You can hear that's really boosting the white noise. So by that logic, if we drop this frequency. And then finally what I did is I used the glitch effects. And you can see that's drastically reduced that noise. Let's just uh, close this. So I'm gonna turn the EQ off and I'm gonna play that first bit of the clip. So hopefully you can see now how this is coming together. And then finally what I did is I used the glitch effects. So that's no EQ. And this is with that band up from the equalizer turned on. So hopefully you can see now how this is coming together. And then finally what I did is I used the glitch effects. So that has greatly reduced that hiss. Now the other thing to mention with the EQ is 
This is currently set to a 10 band EQ. You can jump this up to a 31 band EQ, which obviously means each band is much smaller and you can get much more specific with it. So in that case, you know, I, I could spend a bit more time on this and really focus on isolating the static noise, but with the least impact on my voice in that situation. So yeah, so that is pretty much the process that I go through, um, and that is how I drastically reduce the noise which um, was captured for last week's video. Uh, Blake, I hope that helps. I hope that answers your question a little bit. I hope that some uh, other people find this useful as well. Thanks very much for watching. Um, I'll see you next time.